Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of currency our forefather used then. Yeah, this is what they used to use yes. as but, a means of exchange. Yeah, but when they came, them say they can do business with our forefather with this kind of money. Mm -hmm. Right on the wall, these are some of the European products that we use in a Japan say when they arrive. Like if the European give you one umbrella, yeah. you give them 40 human beings as a slave. Okay. Is this one of the rooms that yeah, this 40 room. people? Yes, yeah. 40 people? 40, yeah. Inside here? Yeah, and we have 40 rooms in the compound. Wow. This one is called, called Blind Yoke. They use it to join two slaves together, the police are the anchor of the police. Also to join two slaves yeah, together by the legs. Slaves. Now, look at that small window type. Can you see that small window there? Yeah. And that's what we provided the ventilation. Imagine 40 able women be in there for three to four months. 40 human beings inside here. Me. Imagine the odor, the heat. Imagine how many human beings because they will have died here. That's the reason why people come here today. You are not here to cash for, but you have to feel the pain the people of the bars have felt. And those are the items that are showing on the wall. Each go for 10 These are 50 human beings. Look at your back there. This bottle, if you look closely at the body, you see things on the tree. Be customized. On the body, yes, it's a human being, being standing. So, guys, can you imagine the conditions that the slaves had to live in? 40 people in a room, a room that is not even enough for one person. 40 people had to stay inside that room. I can't even begin to imagine how most of them would have felt. So, these are the canon. Okay, 100, 100, that's 200 slaves. For so this yeah. canon here, you can give it the long way, give the 100 human being another 100. Yes. Wow. These are the chains they use for the slaves. Yeah, see, that's why I say you can tell. Wow. Which, are you want to try? Yeah, yeah, let me try it. Okay. So just tell the people how you feel. Wow, this is heavy, man. Fuck. This is heavy. Ouch. <laughs> He's even drawing it's like heavy. <laughs> Guys, this is heavy, man. And this is what they wear on their neck, yeah, yeah, all yeah. true? Yes, there will be, it's going to be in a single yeah. pile, you know, in the street. This is another neck, another neck. It will be like 100 of them. Wow, man, guys, this is very heavy. And they wear this all day, every time. Yeah, while they're taking it away. And it's even, this thing at the back, it's, it's so not comfortable. Yeah. And that's their drinking. Oh, this is where you drink and from. They don't allow them to use cup, but it's almost the tide hand of the bad drink water and this way. Wow. So everybody so everybody goes. Yeah, imagine why the water gets below, mm -hmm. why struggling the air can see injured this way. Wow. So, just putting the chain on my neck, those chains were so heavy and it was hot in my neck as you can see in the video. And these people had to go through all of this and they had no choice. Separated from their family, separated from everybody that they knew and sold. As you can imagine how these people were treated. So now we're going to the point of no return. And for us to do that, we have to cross over this lagoon here and get to the other side. That's where we see the point of no return. Point of no return is a point where once slaves get to, they can't come back anymore.